All right, athletes, in this video, we're going to learn the number one reason why we keep re-injuring ourselves when it comes to playing our sport or training. So in this video, we're going to show you a prime example of this and what you can do about it to change this entire situation. So you can see in this video, this person is touting the two exercises to improve your lower body power. However, when this person is jumping, the moment he lands right here, I'm pausing it, you see the feet go in, the lower leg goes outward, so it's turning outward, and the upper thigh goes inward. So they're going in two different directions. And that's happening over and over as this person is jumping. And like the coach is saying, it's all in the knee. And literally, it is all in the knee right now. Right, the first one is all in the knee. Is all in the knee. Is all in the knee. Is all, all in the knee. knee. So let's look at this a little deeper. So if you look at a study here done in 2016, there's a correlation between the flat foot and the misalignment people have to the lower bone, the tibia, and the femur. So look at it closer. You can see this image on the far right, the ankle is turned in. So it's showing you how hard the collapse is. And if I go back, you can see that ankle collapse happening right about here. That's the same ankle collapse you're seeing in the picture in the study. It's pretty drastic. Now, the ramification of this ankle collapse is this. You can look at the study here, look at the rest of the bones. The tibia turning out and the femur is turning in. So femur, tibia kind of at a weird acute angle. And if that's happening and we're applying force at that acute angle over and over, those bones begin to grind up against each other. And then when that happens, we're looking at ACL tears, cartilage degradation, and possibly a knee replacement, which is the worst case scenario. So to look at these bones stacked like this on the x-ray in real time again, here, right there, you can see it's so drastic. The lower bone is just turning out drastically. And you can see the foot turns in and the femur is turning inward, okay? And that's happening over and over as this guy is jumping. So instead of this, you can change this entire situation. If you look at the way he's jumping, the first thing I would change is his feet. His feet should not be turned out when he starts. His feet should be turned in and straight. He should be pushing through his big toe when he jumps, and when he's up airborne, he's already anticipating the landing being straight as well. Look, you're not gonna be able to do this off the bat. You have to train for the ability and the capacity to do it with your feet straight. That takes time, that's number one. Number two, you wanna feel the right muscles engaging from your arch to your tibialis anterior, your VMO, inner groin, glutes, and hamstrings, and not your lower back. And to learn this, you can actually click the link below, sign up for our five-day live challenge, or grab our 12-month Bulletproof membership.